in the studio with four of my dearest friends. Little Mix is in the house. Hey! And thank you for the happy birthday treats. You're so oh, welcome. It started, it started with uh, such an amazing Twitter message from you all. It got me all warm and fuzzy inside. And Aww. it seems like every time that we uh, we had the chance to chat, it's just like picking up, uh, just like old friends. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's back again, you're just stopping through our neck of the woods before you come here for good for a bit to be on yes. tour with Ariana Grande. Yeah. Yes. Let's, so let's start there before we talk album <laughs> and, and all things that are um, coming in 2017. I, I want to focus on this tour. How excited are you off oh my god you have no idea one yeah. because we're with ariana grande who's just the little queen true and mm-hmm. this is going to be so amazing to, yeah to be able to perform on the same stage as her and the fact that we just get to see all our american fans like we miss yeah. you so Incredible. dearly i mean i love the fact that the world is very tight knit now that we can tweet and we can yeah. instagram and we can share uh what you do mm-hmm. um from home any part of the globe, but to actually have you ladies here for an extended period of oh time means so much to the U.S. mixers. How, how does it feel to know that you have so much, um, so much love from across the globe from everyone who you inspire? It's oh, amazing. incredible. We love our fans all over the world, and you know our American mixers are so dedicated. And yeah, and I mean it's hard for us to come over here for a long period of time. So we love how understanding they are, but that's why this three month on tour we are going to give as much love as we have in our bodies yeah. to yeah. our fans. Who yeah. freaked out the most when that email went through or that phone call came and it was like, <laughs> hey, um, it's Ariana Grande. I'm going to do to my Ariana Grande boy. Like, Hi, we want you to be on tour. Can you join me, Dangerous <laughs> Women? Like, Who freaked out, absolutely flipped and went mental when you found out? I think, I think all of us. Yeah. yeah, because we've been waiting so long to fully, like, finally get the time over here. Yes. Like, we never come for like a long period of time and Finally, we have, and I just think we're just so excited to really have a good shot at it and just yeah. finally try and break yeah. it. Yeah, I'm be good. such big fans of Ariana as Lynn, well. You say yeah. finally try to break it. You've been doing so much amazing um, stuff for so long now. I mean, has it really sink in that no. it's that it, it still it, it still feels it. new and, and fun? Yeah, for you? yeah, yeah well, I think because there's still so many like things that we want to achieve. Like Got we're it. not going to stop until we get there. Yeah. So yeah, we don't feel like it's been you know so long. Well, I'm not, I'm not trying to age you by any means. No. I, just want, I just don't want you to feel that um, that you know what I mean. It, we we've been there since the beginning. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and it's it's so cool to uh, to watch this growth and to watch it all happen oh, and kind of yeah. you know move in the direction that we all knew that it was going to move in. You yeah, know? definitely. Uh, let's talk about the brand new album, Glory Days. Um, it, it starts with shout out to my ex. This record that is so much more than just what people are just seeing on the surface level of it. Mm-hmm. How cool is it to have this self empowering record for men and women? And to just really connect mm, yeah it's just mm. amazing like we have so many people coming up just like oh my god i just broke up my boyfriend i've just broke up my girlfriend and you've literally made me feel so much better about yeah. myself mm. because when you do break up with someone it's awful it's like one of the worst pains oh, isn't yeah. it it's horrendous it's tough it's and worst. you need like i mean we, we all love to have like some kind of sad song that we sit and cry to but then at the end of the day you need something that makes you feel empowered and think mm. you know what i don't need you anymore i'm gonna go out with my girls and my boys and i'm yeah. gonna get over you so i don't need you anymore mm. and this is exactly what shout out to my ex mm. Does. It's it, yeah. it's that record, it, and it really is that just like get up off your butt, yeah. you know, put down the PlayStation remote control, <laughs> yeah. go and just move on. Yeah, you know? exactly. Literally. But this is why we make music because we want to inspire people and we yeah. want to make people feel amazing about themselves and yeah. to know that it's working. Yeah. And this song is like it's just taken off so much, and yeah, it's it's done the job. So the rest of the album, uh, how would you how would you describe Glory Days for your fans? What Ooh. what you know if you could. And that's a loaded question. That's pretty like rude of me to you know. <laughs> I don't know. think about it. But how, what do you um, you know? What do you hope that fans take away from this album? Oh, I think well, this album is very much kind of love and heartbreak themed. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's a lot of love songs on there, happy and sad. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, I think there's literally something for everyone on there. Whether you're in a relationship and you're really happy, or you've just broke up with someone, or you're single and you're loving life, like yeah. there's literally a song for every sort yeah. of mood. So um, yeah, I think that's what we want most of all. And yeah, it's just for our fans to feel good about themselves and feel happy. Yes. Tell, tell me about Oops because uh, you you work with Charlie Puth, but uh, and then just recently performed it on yeah. the uh, the finale yes. X Factor UK finale, um, but. You told me before we started rolling on this interview here, that was like the first time that you guys like met. Yeah. Really? yeah. Kind of. He's 
so sweet. Like he tweeted, he tweets so much about yes. like the song and us, and he's really lovely. But that was the first time we met him, and he's so cute. <laughs> oh, he's so, so innocent. So <laughs> he's like, but little... don't be fooled. Yeah, he plays yeah. that like. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, I know because he writes very sexy songs. It's Charlie, Charlie, well, he knows. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, he's not as innocent as he's, you think. He's or... so nice um, and great voice. He's just the sweetest guy. Yeah, ever, we yeah. actually met his sister, sister yesterday. yesterday. She's yeah. awesome too, yeah. right? Yeah, she's so much a Soul, well, twins. Yeah. Oh, are they no, they're twins. Not twins. I, they're not twins. I thought they were twins. She's got a twin. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I, but I, they I could be twins. They, yeah. they look yeah. exactly they talk the same. Yeah. They the same. They sound the same. Yeah. They look the same. She just sits there on her, on her phone all the time, kind of just like, yeah, she's. They're the coolest family. Yeah. And Charlie Puth, by the way, he's like from right here in New York. So oh, shout okay. out to yeah. you know to the homie there. <laughs> well, um, how did that chemistry come together so organically after meeting for the very first time? Oh, he's just really chilled, yeah. and so are we. And um, he's just really fun, and mm. we just had a little bit of chemistry yeah. on stage, didn't we? It just worked, didn't it? Especially that little look at the end, Jade. It was so oh, yeah. cute. Bless him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's reliving it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> of um, looking at the interaction with the fans on Twitter, Instagram, you guys say you, you, you stay so connected. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it mean for you to make sure that you continue to let the fans know how much that they mean to you and vice versa? Even from the very start, like our goal was to always um, yeah, make women and and boys very good, feel very good about themselves, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think when we were younger as well, we had like the Spice Girls to look up to. Yeah. When we first came out, we were thinking, well, there's kind of a gap for that again now. Like, there isn't many artists doing that anymore, so we wanted to kind of fill that. And yeah, I think even now, even though our songs may be a bit more mature, we still kind of set out with the same goal, whether it's mm -hmm. like a shout out or a wings. Yeah. They, all, they all make you feel good. So yeah. You do it well. Um, before we get you out of here, ladies, you know how we do. Got some questions from some fans. Yay. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this one out here from at underscore Alex Bianchi. She tweeted in the question, if you could pick a movie title to describe your life right now, what would it be? Oh, wow. A movie title. Oh that's such gosh. a good question. Uh, yeah. What? All of us? So like an, or like one a, for collectively. Everyone. Yeah, collectively. Mm. Would it be. Collectively. You know what I mean? It needs to be like an epic title. Yeah. Maybe yeah. saying. Oh, I, I would have just said Little Mix on the Road, but that's really boring. Not, well, I, no, because I imagine <laughs> some things that happen on the road are pretty wacky, dude. So. Do you mean like an existing movie title? Or? Yeah, what about existing movie title? Oh. Yeah. Let's what about, about that. Little Mix the drama? Oh, boy. Do you know why? Because there's always drama in Little Mix. <laughs> always. Like, you've got to think about it. Like, we're four girls. Like, it goes off, yeah. mm. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, unlikely weird experiences that would never happen to anyone happens to us. Yeah. It's really yeah. random. And it's generally all at the same time as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so things, things. Let's true. just call it drama. Uh, yeah. There's always drama. Let's do it. Drama. From Veronica, she sent in the question, oh, you guys amazing wardrobe sense of style. Oh. Favorite costume that you've ever performed in? Ooh, oh. Because oh, oh, y'all's oh, you, oh. costumes oh, go so hard. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know what I really liked? I really liked our UK performance of Love Me Like You mixed with Black Magic. <gasps> yeah. Because we got to be like princesses with big like dresses. Yeah. And like all glittery and sparkles and sequins. And then the dancers ripped off our big skirts and it was just a leotard. And it was like, yeah, let's get it. It was the best of yeah, all. I, I was going to say shout out to my ex video outfits. Hello. Uh, yeah, they good. Uh, I never yeah. wear an, a fur Although jacket. I'm pretty sure you guys again. are probably sweating out there in the oh desert. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. In that leather, oh leather God. pants in the desert. Never again. Crazy. All right, crazy. this is from <laughs> Brittany. Where do you get your makeup and outfit inspiration from? We stalk a bit on Instagram and online, yes. especially with makeup. Just like all different makeup tutorials. Yeah, but our makeup artist Adam Burrell is incredible. Yeah, and Heidi and Heidi and our stylist Zach and Jamie. They're just crazy they're good the they have really weird minds so we yeah. love that yeah just, Yo, just be creative like, about it right yeah, yeah. 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 speaking of instagram i want to throw this last one in for me personally have you ever accidentally double tapped on somebody's picture oh, oh, stop. yeah right. and then you know you have to go do one of the things where you have worse. to like loads of other pictures that they can't see that you've liked it it's when it's like 138 weeks ago oh, yeah. you're like oh gosh I'm so embarrassing like, it's nothing worse i've never done that oh, have you done that it's horrible scrolling a little too hard you accidentally hit the I hate no. when you're showing your friends something. They're like, well, let me have a look. Oh, yeah. And they try and zoom in and double uh, check. I do that all the time. Yeah, do uh, not leave your phone around me because uh, I swear I will go through and like all of your uh, crushes' pictures oh, no. without you knowing. That's just one of my things that I do. <laughs> um, I, I got to say, again, it's, it's so cool to catch up with friends. I'm glad that we get to have you here for a couple Thank of months you. because yes. then I don't have to just like sporadically see you ladies and then <laughs> see you off back home. You get cupcakes but, every day. I will. Mm. <laughs> yep. Now, as a matter of fact,
matter of fact. Thank you, thank you again for my <laughs> regular. You're very welcome. <laughs> uh-huh. hey. I'm so <laughs> jealous right now. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I know this. 